Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Lauren. I'm going to be your student PTA today. Nice to meet you. Oh, so can you hear what I'm saying? Today, because uh, I see on your chart that it says hearing loss. So do you have hearing loss? Oh, okay. Does this help? Can you hear me now? Hello? <laughs> Okay, so today we are going to do chart that you have hearing loss. I'm so sorry about that. I know how difficult that is, but today we're going to work on getting your coordination and balance better. I spoke to the PT and I have our first set of interventions that we're going to do, or uh, if you want to call exercises. And today we're going to start with um, a little bit of balance type exercises. So I'm going to put your gait belt on to make sure that you don't do any falling on me, all right? So let's get up slowly. Hi, Lauren. My name is Maylin. I'm Russia. I'll be your student oh, yeah. physical therapist today. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, not that good. Uh, you know, let's see what ramps out there. Don't no wheelchair accessible whatsoever, and that is violating the ADA. Just I hope you know that. But other than that, fantastic. Oh yeah. How can you have such a positive attitude with being disabled? Well, I don't really consider myself disabled. You know, I'm just paralyzed. You know, I can do everything everyone else can do, just but just in a different way. Well, can you jump? No, and that's technically disabled, and you can't do everything. Hmm. Well, I think I can do a lot. I'm just, I try to stay positive, you know, because you start to get negative and you just get down. Do you think physical therapy will help you get better? Yeah, of course. That's why I came. Don't you? I don't know. I mean, you're kind of really disabled, like really bad. But I guess we'll see what we can do. Okay. Let's get on. Hi, Lauren. My name is Maylin. I'll be your student physical therapist assistant today. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm doing so fantastic today. You know, it's good. Life is great. You know, the sun's shining outside. It's awesome. Such a positive attitude to have. Yeah, you know, I, as you can see on my chart, I'm a paraplegic. But, you know, I can do everything just like everyone else, you know? Yeah. As a physical therapist, I'm sure you think the same thing. You know? Oh, definitely. There's yeah. no such thing as disabilities, you know? Yeah. We're just normal people. We just have to do it a different way, right? Right. Yeah. Well, here we'll try to do some exercises for you to maybe regain your strength and your mobility. And my arms, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you dramatically. I'm not here to inspire you. I'm here to tell you that we have been lied to about disability. Yeah, we've been sold the lie that disability is a bad thing. Capital B, capital T. It's a bad thing. And to live with disability makes you exceptional. It's not a bad thing. And it doesn't make you exceptional. representation of disabled people is often called inspiration porn. By definition of pornography, someone, here a disabled person, is objectified for the benefit of the person watching. 
We see it in the viral videos of teenagers with Down syndrome being asked to the prom. Although social media memes of Stephen Hawking with the motivational quotes above his wheelchair. It's the Tiny Tim philosophy. Disabled people, courageous yet pitiable, exist to give non-disabled people a warm fuzzy feeling or to provide a better outlook on their own lives. It's time to stop calling disability inspirational. Real progress will come when disabled people are seen just like anyone else.